Hello! In this video, I'm going to talk about how I train and how you can apply these principles to your workouts if you are new to working out or if you want to know the truth about unlocking your ultimate potential. So, listen up. I have been training for most of my life. Uh, ever since I was a teenager, I've been training consistently for more than 20 years. So I think I know what I'm talking about when I say that I've done and tried everything you can imagine, every kind of workout, every kind of fitness that's available that requires a gym. So first of all, when I walk into a gym, I don't have a plan. I don't come with a plan. I work with what I've got, okay? So, a good cook follows a recipe. A great chef works with what he's got. Think about that. If you've been driving for a very long time, if you've been cooking for a very long time, or if you're someone like myself that has been training for a very long time, you know that you do not need to write down every step of a plan that's in your head of what you're going to do. You don't need to follow a recipe. You don't need a GPS. If you've been driving home to work thousands and thousands of times, you know it by instinct. You just work with what you've got. So for example, let's, let's go back to this car analogy. So if you're driving, do you write down every Every turn, left turn, right turn, every mileage that you drive, every speed that you try to aim towards. No, it's all instinctual. You work with what you've got. So you go with the flow. What if there's a traffic jam? What if there's a car accident? What if there's a, an emergency, like there's a fire truck blurring in your background? You have to adapt. And the same thing goes with my workouts. When I go to the gym, I don't have a plan. I just show up. And what I see around me is what I work with. So for example, if the gym is completely empty, then I don't really need to worry about what I need to plan ahead of time because everything's available. But unfortunately, most gyms, especially now since it's January, are packed with people of all different levels, of all different types of fitness, of all different types of niches. So you gotta work around these people. So how do I work around people? Like Just like how I work around cars while I'm driving. You, know, you weave, you adapt, you go with the flow. So for example, I'm gonna give you a, a situation. Imagine that it's Monday, okay? And you have leg day planned, okay? Which is a no-no. Okay, so you have in your, your notebook or your, your, your notepad, okay, I'm gonna do this many sets this many reps of uh, barbell squat racks, and it's gonna be glorious, okay? And then you go to your gym, your local gym, at 5 p.m. on a Monday, and you see 20 other people lined up waiting to use the squat rack. What do you do? What do you do? Are you gonna be the 21st person lining up? Are you just gonna wait? all night until the gym closes until you get access to that squat rack so you can follow your plan to a T. If you're a newbie, maybe you would do that. But if you're a professional, if you know what you're doing, you work your way around that situation. So what do you do? You can grab some dumbbells and you can do some dumbbell squats. You can do some body weight squats. You can find a machine that gets your legs involved. You can do a machine squats like a leg press or a leg extension, okay? You can, or sometimes if none of these apparatuses or exercises are available to you, it happens. Sometimes dumbbells, machines aren't available either. Or if you have no space, then sometimes you have to skip leg day and then you, you work around it. You do it on another day or you just do it at home. So I'll give you an example. Yesterday, uh, I wanted to do a uh, leg extension because uh, yeah, I haven't done it for a while. So I was at my gym and there was like groups of people swarming the leg extension. So 
what would you do in that situation? They're swarming the, the leg extension. They're taking their sweet time. They're goofing off. Are you gonna interrupt their workout and say, excuse me, I need more sets? No. That's what a newbie would do, okay? What I did was, I just avoided that situation just like a, like a rush hour, okay? There's traffic jam. I just find a different route, uh, an alternate route. And that's what I did. So what I did, I did body weight squats. I did lunges on the ground. I grabbed some dumbbells that were available and I did them. Case, case closed, okay? So I'm totally fine with setting aside leg extensions for another day. I can, I can get access to that machine on another day. That's in, my, that's in the back of my mind. So let it go sometimes, all right? I don't like people that show up to the gym with a plan, like a concrete plan, and they, they hope to accomplish that plan 100% because usually those people get disappointed or they're very impatient. You can see it in their body language and their faces. And it just really kills the vibe of a gym. When you work around people that are impatient, upset, arrogant, angry, upset, and it's not something that you're in control of most of the time. So it's just like driving. You can be in control of your own thoughts and own vehicle in whatever situation you are in, okay? So you can react to the traffic by cursing the moon, scowling, being upset, honking your horn, raging. That's not what I would do. Or, or you can find an alternate route, find, some, find another way. And that's what I do in most gyms. I weave around, I flow like water. So that's my first principle, okay? Be water, flow or crash, empty your mind, move and weave and grace like water around a room. I dance around a room, okay? I don't have a plan and I pay attention to everything. Just like you're driving, a good driver works with what he's got, with his own vehicle, the vehicle that he's given and the cars and the traffic around him. A good driver can spot all of these. Weave around, okay? Move around. Don't have a plan. So there is no leg day. There's no chest day. There's no back day. There's no shoulder day. There's no arms day. There's no abs day. There's no cardio day for me, okay? I walk in without a plan. And there is a freedom to that kind of thinking, okay? And your body, you bodybuilders are probably aware that you have conditioned your body so well that your body is like a dog. And the dog knows, oh, today, oh, the owner wants me to do arms. I can feel it. All that blood is concentrated here, here, here. Okay? You're conditioning your body to do certain movements on certain days. And what happens to that kind of body? It knows. And how does a muscle grow? By being shocked. And you're not gonna shock your muscles if your body and your muscles can anticipate your workout. So I don't have a leg day, shoulder day, arm day. I, no, I, I just mash it all together. I do a full body workout every day. So my body never knows what's going to happen on every day. So think about these things that I'm telling you, okay? So don't walk in with a plan, work with what you got, be like water, flow, crash, weave, dance around people in a gym. Because people, unfortunately, are just like drivers and there's a lot of bad drivers on the road. And a good driver knows how to deal with these kind of people. And I want you to be one of these good drivers that I'm talking about, okay? That knows how to weave, adapt, flow. Same thing applies to swimming. A good swimmer knows who he's swimming with. 
I'll give you three lanes situations. There's three, three lanes at your local pool. One is a slow lane that's crowded. The second is a medium lane that's also crowded. And then there's a third lane that's empty. Which lane do you take? Which lane do you take? My answer is the empty lane every time. I don't care what sign is posted on that lane. Fast, advanced, super fast, man. I don't care. It's empty, so I can do whatever I want with it. That's my answer. I take the empty lane. All right? I don't want to take the crowded lane ever because, again, I'm dealing with all kinds of external variables aside from my swimming, which is what I want to focus on 100%. So, Think about what I'm saying. This is the first video. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll make a follow-up. And uh, I'm trying to make a, a series of training videos for you guys to, yeah, pump up your workouts, all right? And if you want online coaching, if you want to get coached by me, personal training, I have a link down below. Click that link and I'll give you some information about that, okay? So that's all I have to say for now. Have a good workout. Train hard. Be water, my friend. Talk to you later. Bye.